got the snorfles. I got the snorfles real bad. If you don't speak Lord DIY, that just means nipples. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. So I haven't done a clothing DIY in a hot minute. And after spending a bunch of time shopping for Coachella and just spending like more time than I would like in shopping malls lately, I've just realized that there are a ton of DIYable trends happening right now that can cost like an arm and a leg in store. Honestly, it's like not even an arm and a leg. It's like the whole body waist down for a distressed t-shirt. But in all seriousness, you guys know that I love to save you guys money. And trends like these distressed band tees are so, so, so fun and really, really easy to DIY. So let's just hop right into the DIYs and I will see you in the intro. So if you've ever walked into basically any store that carries clothing, you'll find at least one of these bleach splattered black tees. Sometimes they're on lace-up shirts, sometimes on vintage band tees, and let me just be the first to tell you if you haven't already caught on that this is the easiest DIY ever. I'm going to use a spray bottle and some bleach to do a combination of drips, splatters, and spray designs on the black band tee that I just picked up from a thrift store. And this one already came to stress, but if you want to take it one step further like a lot of the popular tees, just use some scissors and sandpaper to rough it up and snip holes into the fabric. You'll see that almost instantly the black starts changing color to the orange. You can always see what's happening and how to get each design through the different techniques. You can also go ahead and dilute the bleach with some water if you want a lighter orange, but I was just going all out on this one. This next one is another one that you've probably seen taking over all of your favorite stores. Rose patches are being plastered all over literally everything and TBH, I'm living for it. But it can also be really expensive and these patches are insanely affordable just on Amazon. The patch that I bought didn't already have the fabric adhesive on the back of it. So there's this awesome product called Patch Attach that you can add to pretty much all patches to make it iron on a bowl. I'm just gonna go ahead and trace the edge of the patch as best as possible. And I learned through trial and error that a thin layer of this works so much better to make the ironing process easier. But if you're able to find the rose patches that already have the adhesive, you are good to go and should probably just go ahead and iron these onto everything because it'll be so, so, so easy and cute. This patch attached stuff was a new thing for me, but I was seriously so impressed with it and it gets the Lord DIY stamp of approval. So I had to wait about 10 minutes for it to dry before flipping it over onto my jean shorts and adding heat to the iron. And a quick tip for the ironing step, each section needs an equal amount of like two-ish minutes. So like with an iron-on paper transfer, you can like add six seconds of heat and it transfers perfectly. But with the patch attached, you definitely need to give each section that full two minutes before the adhesive really, really grabs on. Split shirt is definitely the most on the rise trend I've been seeing lately and I don't know if stores think that they can charge for both tees even if you're just getting half of each or what the situation is but whether you're down to do a little bit of hand sewing or even fabric gluing this trend is totally DIYable. I'm gonna start by lining up these shirts on top of each other to make sure they're about the same size. Find the middle point of each and cut through both layers of each right down the middle. This is also an awesome DIY to do with a friend because you'll be able to make two tees just with two different halves if you want. So go ahead and trim these shirts down to size, flip them inside out, and I'm just going to be doing a super simple hand sewing stitch that I think is a little more secure than fabric glue. So starting at the bottom, I'm going to make a starting knot by tying the end of the string around itself and making a tight knot. And then you can sew however you're comfortable with, but I just made a stitch around the outside of the edge all the way up. And this stitch is more like around the edge stitch versus an up and down stitch through the fabric. But you can attach these two pieces together with a sewing machine, fabric glue, or fabric glue guns, whatever you are feeling. P.S. Yes, this was totally filmed after Coachella when my hand henna was still doing great. So you're going to work your way all the way up to the top of the shirt and make a final knot to tie it off. We're going to repeat that exact same process down the back of the shirt, flip it right side out, and you are done. The feeling is so 